Ladies and gents, welcome back. My name is Wasmatic, and we're continuing the series looking at all of the industrial sides of Dual Universe. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing that now because these tutorials are really helping people out and I'm getting some fabulous feedback. And also, you'll be in with a chance to win a beta key for the duration of the beta um, competition that is coming out in the very near future. And uh, I just need to work out how to access the beta key to give it away. And then uh, follow me on Facebook and on uh, YouTube and uh, the competition details will come in very soon. So, in the last video, uh, in the playlist, the guides, uh, which I'll put in a link in the top right, we were looking at the simple process of how to refine. And uh, we had left this on a process of maintenance. Stop that, I'll put that on run. I'm going to start that process off because, no, I'm going to stop that. Uh, because we need some carbon. What we're going to do in this process, let's have a look. Carbon. Your carbon. What we are going to do is I'm going to show you how to make a very simple loop back in a process to make some wood. And that wood. I don't have enough carbon here. Let me see if I've got some more. I'm sure, I have somewhere. Your carbon. <laughs> yes, plenty of it. Um, okay, I'm just going to drop this in here. So, we are producing carbon in the refiner. So this is going back to the last tutorial where we looked at um, how do you get to the point where you've made your refiner and you're now producing pure resources from the ore. So the pure resource in this case being carbon. So, we're going to go through the process. We're going to make some of these wooden blocks. That's where we're going to aim to get to. Okay, now for this you will need a couple of refiners and something called a honeycomb refiner, I believe it's called. Somewhere, where have I put it? Here it is. I didn't know that's the smelter. I must have hidden the honeycomb refiner somewhere. Honeycomb refiner, really. yeah, need that. Okay, so first things first is we need to make these wooden blocks and I think these were the aged wood number four. Aged brown pattern wood number four. If you want to see what something is in the game, just look at it and press H and it will tell you. Like that. Shortcut H tells you what anything is. Okay, so we're now going to go through the process where we, we're making these wooden blocks so we can start to build. So this could be anything. This could be iron. It could be uh, any of these. Um, so if you look at press K, bring up the materials, honeycomb materials, and let's look at pure honeycomb materials. So you've got aluminium. So you could make you could make this house out of anything you like. There are all kinds of different resources that you can produce. And I think it can make carbon one. Carbon painted. There we go. Okay. Um, well, we're going to use wood for this just to make it a little bit more interesting. So the process. Aged. Uh, what, did we, what did you say it was? Aged brown pattern wood number four. So again, press K. This is how I do it. You could just... If you know what unit you need to use, you could just go and look in there, but this is nice and convenient. I'm going to do aged brown pattern wood number four, and there it is. So that's what we want to make, and that's what we make it from. So hang on a minute. Can we make that? So we have to make carbon. And I'll stop producing because this is full, but that's just me being ambitious. So, we need to make wood. So, we need to make this wood so we can make the actual um, voxel blocks. So, again, we click on that. What do we need to make it? We need carbon and we need oxygen. Hmm. Okay. So, in here we have hmm, not much oxygen. Some of that out. There we go. So, we have oxygen and we have carbon. So, we can make the wood. So this item, we're going to build mode now. Press number six for the links. This item, and bear in mind that your industrial units can only have one output. Okay, so this item is outputting to here. Now you can't loop back, so you can't say this item, sorry, this item, you can't link that back there, it'll go red. Your output cannot be your input, but what does that mean for us? So this is making carbon. 
and we want to be able to make wood and wood is made you can make it by hand if you like but we're going to industrialize the process so what do we make wood in we make wood in a refinery okay so let's say we want to automate the production of wood we don't want to manually go pick up this the carbon that's been made and the oxygen that's been made and then every now and again when the containers full run over to the input because this is the input for the refiner so we need a process where we have a loop we need a loop comes back into here okay so we need another refiner so press number nine let's pick this refiner up and for the purposes of displaying the process i'm going to put this here so you can see we'll make it linear okay uh, let me just move that a bit further away there we go uh, actually no i'm going to move that closer there we go so so we have a refiner which is feeding a container and then we need another refiner to make the wood so create the linkages that will go into there and that will output to there let's just check that's not empty uh, sorry not full okay so we have a fairly linear process here where you have that container feeding that refiner that refiner feeding that container and then that feeding this refiner so what we're going to do now if i leave build mode press f here we need to make the wood not wood we want wood there so this recipe to make so click apply and i'm just going to for the purposes of this tutorial just click start okay so you have the input container here feeding this refiner which is making the pure products and then you have a loop into this refiner which is making the wood and then that's feeding this container here so it's a really nice straightforward process then we need the honeycomb refiner which I've got in my inventory so okay the honeycomb refiner we need to press one to place element and drag this across to here and then just scroll up with the mouse wheel and then we have the honeycomb refiner there and then we press six and we make the linkage between that and the honeycomb refiner and then we just need one more container oops number nine for the move element there we go drop that in there and then the link tool from that to that and there's your very simplified industrial process um, this is stopped working because the uh, there it's got missing input ingredients so there is no more coal in here so we've run out of enough coal and I don't have any stashed away anywhere else I don't think so we're just going to assume that we've now hit the bottom of our resources and we cannot put any more coal into the front end until we go mining no nope, I haven't got any okay so now we've got out of that refiner we have the carbon and we have the oxygen which is needed to make the wood so let's check this and the one of the things you can do you take the tools off is they have lights on the units which show you whether they're making stuff so you can see the lights on here are red there they're red so if we look at that uh, they're red because i haven't chosen the recipe aged brown pattern wood four there we go we apply that recipe now we can check the container at the moment that refiner is still producing wood so there's none in here or certainly not enough so we're now waiting for this process to catch up and that's quite slow so if we put this into run mode it will say missing input ingredients and then we just need to wait until this is finished two runs so it needs to make a hundred liters to make one block so we need a hundred liters of wood to make 10 cubic meters of aged brown pattern wood so we wait so here we are looking at the refiner that's producing the wood we have 28 26 25 seconds left to go until the 75 liters of wood is pushed out into this container here which already has 50 
Once that is produced, this honeycomb refiner should then automatically recognize that the wood has been produced and put into here and it should start. There we go. Lights have gone green now. Let's turn the lights. So you can see these lights are green. That has now automatically started because it's seen that the input, whoops, and there you go. And that's actually been really quick to produce. So if we look in this container at the end, there we go. There is the aged brown pan wood. Now, that is a very, very, very simplified straight line process, um, just to give you a flavor of how to put together an industrial process. In the next video, we're going to look at how we put multiple parallel, uh, well, I say multiple, we're going to put two parallel, maybe three, uh, maybe using electronics or metal working. I haven't decided which of those to do yet, but we're going to put some uh, parallel industrial processes together. So we may see two refiners here feeding into a metal worker that feeds into a container that feeds into another metal worker that feeds back into another assembly or another. Uh, so one of the things that I think we'll probably include in the next process is this, which is the smelter and the smelter is responsible for making um, in, it would go in this chain in the same place that this honeycomb refiner is, except the smelter will make things like uh, so um, the steel that we were looking at earlier. So just pure steel that is made from the smelter and the smelter will take that from the raw components. So whilst in this process you have um, this making the raw um, basic materials into that container and then this is making the wood what you would do is you would shift that out of the process uh, let's just destroy those links uh, you press alt and click to destroy the links and then what you would do is pick up the smelter and drop that into the process there now let's say that you wanted to have an industrial process that made you steel and also made you wood at the same time what you would do is pick that up Put that in the process here and then the links press number six that will feed that that will feed that and then both of these will feed back into here for example or this might feed off to another container somewhere else for a different part of the process you get the idea um, and there you go so now we have the opportunity to have both steel made and honeycomb so in the next video we'll look at something that is a little bit more involved. We'll maybe use some electronics factories and we'll maybe use maybe a couple of the metal working. This is an electronic here uh, and a metal worker. So uh, yeah, so I hope that's been useful. Just a really simple, straightforward, sing single line process. And um, the possibilities and the size of the factories that you can build in dual universe should not be underestimated. They are they can be immense and this is only a medium sized factory and this is only half of the building because my core is on the floor so actually this building could be twice this height you can build enormous skyscrapers or you can just build absolutely enormous factory units and chuck out you could be you could have 25 refiners there all burning through resources i've actually just put together a, uh, a contract with a fellow empire uh, imperial member of the empire and they are they they're their special speciality is hauling and uh, not so much mining but hauling and mining and, and this individual is going to help me gather some tier 2 resources for what I do uh, mostly which is make fuel anyway there you go I hope that was useful don't forget to subscribe don't forget the beta competition which is coming out very soon and I'll see you in the next one thanks for watching bye